Uh, okay, we got a Misfits Market box. Okay, this is the first video in a series of videos about how I source food for my family because I'm really interested to find out the most efficient ways to like get food for your house. I source food for my family. Yo, you guys have no idea. I am like going through memory card after memory card and they're all coming up full, which is like cool, good for me, make that content, film that shit, but what? I'm sitting down for like the third time, guys. I did find lens wipes. <laughs> if you watched the bonus vlog in my last video, um, you can click it right here or up here. <laughs> I couldn't find these, I always save them. And also like kind of sketched out to touch the lens of a camera, not gonna lie, but here we are and everything's fine. Better than ever, actually. I believe it dry my hair. And when I like sleep, I don't know what happens, but. What is all this? There you go, those are supposed to be on this side, this is supposed to be on this side. And then I look really like glowy. It's the morning, sorry. Uh, okay, we got a Misfits Market box. There are so many grocery shopping options now, and I'm really always wondering, like, what's the best way? Does this Misfits Market box save me money? It definitely doesn't. Spoiler alert. So this is my third, my third Misfits Market box. I said I was going to commit to getting four of them. But what I have found out is, you'll see, you gotta wait till the end of the video for me to, to tell you the, the final review. But I have been crunching the numbers. I bought a scale so I can weigh how much food is in these boxes. I've been doing the numbers. I want to know if it's better to go to the farmer's market, go to the grocery store once a week, go to the grocery store every day, order one of these meal boxes, uh, literally just take the kids to a restaurant. So I thought of all these different ways to get food and I wanna try them all out for a week and see like the differences in what they cost. Like I wanna know how much it would cost for me to just say I don't even need to plan dinner this week. We're going out to a restaurant every night. Cause like the other night I took the kids out to a restaurant. Right, Subway sandwiches for the three of us are gonna cost like what, 20 bucks? They are always cost like 20 bucks, maybe like $22 at Subway. Well, it's like for 42 bucks, I could take the kids to the Italian restaurant. We can get something like, I guess it's the equivalent of healthy and fresh, but also they had lunch for the next day, like a nice leftover bowl of pasta. So for 42 bucks, I got three dinners and three lunches. Six meals. That's still seven bucks a meal, which is expensive. <laughs> so obviously it's expensive to go out to restaurants every day, but I want to find out like how expensive because I hate cooking. No, I do like cooking. I love cooking if I have time to cook, but I don't have time to cook right now. I'm very busy, so um, yeah. Join me on my journey as I try to find out the most efficient shopping method. Also, we're vegan, so I don't need to, like I can do all of my grocery shopping pretty much at a farmer's market besides things like tofu and beans, but Anyway, I digress, guys, because um, I had no intention of filming myself today, but the Misfits Market box just got here. My computer told me. <laughs> so, I love how I have all these, like, lights. It's like, Alexa, read my notification. Oh, wait, this isn't One new notification my from phone. Amazon Shopping. Oh. A shipment will arrive today, including callable TPU silicone case. She's just telling me that my stuff's arriving today. I like can't leave the house with this new iPhone until I put a case on it. Oh, who is she though? <laughs> the kids are like, why don't you make it a picture of us? It's like, what? <laughs> okay, guys, uh, let's go check out the Misfit Market box. We're gonna do the weigh-in. It says it's 15, 18 to 20 pounds of produce. I've never gotten more than 15 pounds in the last two boxes, so. So I figure, like, let's say the next two boxes are heavy. So, you know, I'll give them, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt on that. Here we go, we got the lettuces out. That's cool. I will tell you, I ate a few salads I wouldn't have eaten otherwise because of the misfit market. You give me this lettuce, it's like I gotta use it, so I do, but. Salad stuff. Salad, salad. No, like serve me up a good salad and I like it. I just don't like making salads. 
Oh, it's different than last time. Wait, have I not been recording that whole time? Okay, I think I was recording. I thought I wasn't. Okay. Um, guys, we cleared off the table and we are down to show you what else is in the Mr. Market box. Good, I needed broccoli, guys. No, compostable bags which like they're like stretchy like fabric but look they're strong they are strong guys oh god these are gonna be carrots but like yo they can't count the carrot greens in the weight unless carrot greens are edible in a way i don't know about but this is actually legit awesome look at these babies woohoo that's fun I do like the carrots at the tops. Who doesn't? Cool. And she's like, why they send us cut cute uh, vegetables? It's okay. No big deal. I like when they send onions because you always need onions. But like straight up, I do think this would be cheaper in the store. And I'm living in the Hamptons. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Last time I made eggplant, I didn't wind up eating it. So that was not my best thing. Yeah, like it looks very bountiful, doesn't it? Very, very bountiful today with the Misfit Market. We're just about at the end now. I think we did all right. That was great. This stuff is all actually melts in water. This will disintegrate in water. It's made of corn husk. Very, very cool how they can make like a shock absorbing padding. But like I said, let's be real. This is a lot more plastic than I would ever, ever use in a grocery store trip. So I don't like that. I use these. These are reusable produce bags. So I don't even use any plastic for my produce at the grocery store. So I really, I find this. This is more plastic. This and the ice packs is more plastic than I would ever use. So I don't like that part of it. Always delicious, sometimes normal. I was actually looking forward to getting some like misfit stuff, but it's all been pretty normal. Well, it's 1.55, but let's see how much all together the onions are. One more. 2.8. So let's round it up to 2.9. Yeah, we're gonna give them those hundredths, okay? How will do the ones next? Okay. Are we rounding everything? Uh, yeah. So that, what would that round to? Yes, to the nearest. It was 2.14. We're rounding to the nearest hundredth. Okay, nice. That's right. Broccoli Baby, we needed that last night. I don't know why the people despise broccoli and cartoons. Are these all? Is there any more ones? Eggplants. Two point six, I think. Oh no, two point two. Okay, done. Let's do the mangoes. Or whatever they are. So, it's They're plum apricots. Two watts. I bet. Two watts. It's a point eight. Ugh. It's so hard. Okay, let's put everything in. No, we won't put these leaves in. Holy God. Wait. I'd say one. Yeah, one pound. Are these peppers? Bag first. Oh, these bags weigh something? Well, yeah, just a tiny bit. We don't really have to, but let's just show the video anyway. Okay. Um, the jalapenos. These compostable bags are amazing. Are they I'm got, obsessed with these. Are they biodegradable? Bags. Yes, that's why they're. That's what compostable means. Oh god, I'm afraid. These need to be rinsed off. Um, I'll do these. Oh. You just rip it, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna weigh these without the stems. Yeah, we don't use because them. Because I don't think you can use the stems. If you could use them, I'll figure out how to cook them, but. If this video comes out, um, like near Christmas or something, and if there's a channel called XMPG Gaming, 
Please subscribe. That's good for my channel. So. Hey. Okay. So Dylan made this list of the totals. Very easy to read. Let's add it up. 21.1, could it be? Are you sure you didn't write down something twice? Uh, are they right next to each other? Yes. Oh no, that happened twice. Okay, cool, thank you. Whoa, guys, for the first time. 21.1 pounds. For the first time, it has as much food as it says it's gonna have in it. And Well, that's why I, I said I should get four boxes before making like a, a rating. So 21.1, I think the other ones are about 15, so let's say plus 30 divided by three, 17. They're getting close to that, eight, that 18 pound promise. Props to them for not including the weight of those carrot greens. I will research. Why didn't I just get my cell phone? Why did I legit go and get a calculator? Okay, anyway. Now I gotta, I gotta rinse these off. I made sure I didn't buy any produce because I knew this box was coming. Whereas last time, two weeks ago, I totally forgot the box was coming and I had gone shopping, so that was a really bad situation. I still actually have things left over from two weeks ago from this box. So you guys wanna see? This is what I made last week. I like roasted the eggplant and made like a dip with olive oil, salt, and pepper. It really looks very good. Actually, I'm gonna toss it. I know, I'm skeeped out by it. It really looks very good. I don't know why. I don't know, I guess eggplant kind of sketches me out. It really looks very good. As much as I love eggplant, I guess it kind of weirds me out fills up both drawers, and then like obviously more. This is now totally full. Oh, I gotta put the rest of everything in. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. This one is full of fruit and lettuce. I do like their little cucumbers. I just threw a bunch of like celery away that I probably could have salvaged, but. Oh no, like. Are these cute? Do these make a bouquet? We're gonna find out how they look when they take some water in. Maybe I could put them in a vase, I don't know. Okay, cool, now the kitchen is completely trashed and our fridge is full of organic fruits and vegetables. It's all organic. I do think that it's a lot of plastic, in honesty. Like, why are they, oh, they're covering that stuff. Why are they covering that compostable stuff in plastic? I guess because it dissolves and if it gets wet. I don't know, there's gotta be a better way. And they're all just plastic in the ice packs. Yeah, these ice packs, that's an issue. That's an issue. Like I save them, but for what? <laughs> add, them to, add them to my collection. They honestly can be reused as ice packs. If I were to freeze these and to use them in the bottom of my Yeti instead of buying another bag of ice, that would, that would cancel out that plastic. It looks like somebody murdered a group of vegetables in here. Misfit mayhem. It wouldn't be a Misfits Market video unless I showed you guys how the padding that they packed the box with is compostable and it dissolves underwater, which I think is awesome. I wish that they were making more packing material out of uh, this padding's made of corn husks. If they can make packaging out of corn husks, why aren't they? I don't know. It's really cool to watch it dissolve. However, it is covered in plastic. Covered in plastic. So if you're looking for a lower waste alternative to buying your groceries, this Misfits Market box has more plastic than I would ever use at the grocery store, which I think I said earlier. And if you were to go to a farmer's market, then you'd probably be able to avoid plastic packaging altogether for your food. So yeah, like I said, it's good that the padding is compostable, but it's not really that cool that it's covered in plastic. I don't like that. <laughs> anyway, let's go do it. Virginia. Is this, can I even, I don't really know why I'm out here doing this. I could have just done this in the kitchen sink. Wow, filming outside is a legit nightmare. I don't know what I'm on right now. I want to show you the Misfits Market Box all together. The packaging includes this piece of cardboard, all of this plastic wrapped compostable padding, and just two plastic clamshells. So, see what I mean guys, like straight up? Even if this plastic is recyclable, which I'm sure they claim it is, I feel like recycling might actually be a conspiracy and like nothing actually even gets recycling. They just want us to think it is. I don't know if that's another video, you know? But straight up, like, come on. This is like 
two, it was like four grocery bags right here for all these fruits and vegetables, so. I don't like that this, I mean, okay, if it's recyclable, maybe it's going somewhere, but like, what? What's even happening? Why is the water coming out of holes this color? Guys, it's like this color. I thought I was gonna be able to get a cool shop. I just wanna show you how this stuff dissolves. This is not my best laid plan, guys. The water from the hose is like yellow. Let's see, the last time it came, it wasn't covered in this paper. Yeah. Obviously the paper is compostable. I really think this stuff is coated in plastic because if it gets wet, it will dissolve and the fruits and vegetables could get it wet. But this paper is enough to protect it. I'm telling you guys, I know. But really, is the paper gonna dissolve or what? Obviously the paper is compostable. I really should have done that like more in front of you. Well, I can just pour it on the ground now. Well, we'll see how compostable We'll see how compostable it really is because I just dumped it all on the ground. I see the paper over there. Yeah. I'll give you an update telling you how long it stayed there. Okay, really, I do want to get a shot of it actually, whatever. I have like every row Bucky could ever have filming this video, but like props to me for doing it, okay? It's like just the last thing I need. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's what all packing stuff should be made of. And then you just throw the paper in the garden. <laughs> See how long it takes. Anybody thirsty? Anyway, <laughs> it's a lot of plastic. Um, it's a lot of plastic. It's a lot of plastic. A lot of cardboard. <laughs> Unless this way of shopping saved me a significant amount of money, I don't think I would recommend it. My light's behind the house now. We're done, we're, we're done here. All right, so here's what I have to say about the Misfit Market box. First of all, none of the fruits and vegetables I'm getting are Misfits. I don't really know, the story doesn't quite add up about the irregular produce whole sourcing thing. I don't really know. The price, I don't think I'm saving that much money. And the packaging. The story about how the vegetables are sourced doesn't really make sense to me because they're not really regular. I don't think that the price is actually much cheaper than the grocery store. And three, I think it's heavy on packaging. So price I think is high, waste I think is high, and I think that um, customers in Misfit Market are trying to do something that kind of stops waste and reduces food waste, but I think that this actually increases food waste somehow. Also, you can't choose the fruits and vegetables you get. You can in certain areas, you can't in mine. <laughs> okay guys, so there you have it. That's a Misfit Market box. That box cost $38.50 to get delivered. They just increased their price. I think the total, the new total is gonna be $39.50, uh, but they're grandfathering in all their current customers for four more weeks, or four more deliveries maybe, so maybe eight weeks. I'm not well, really sure. Well, videos are coming up on... On um, what? On my recommended on. Well, just like randomly on YouTube. Thank you. My videos are coming up on Daphne's YouTube. That probably means they'll be coming up on somebody else's soon. I would hope so, yes, 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 yes. I made her a bracelet. Oh, God. Dylan helped me with all this so much. He did all the math. I don't do very good math. Hey, you do great. He just wrote down the numbers. Mm -hmm. You could have done it, but I thought he would like to feel helpful. Yeah. I was in the middle of starting my day. Yeah. But now I'm glad I got this all on video. And, um,. Yeah, we'll do another video um, in two more weeks when the next box gets here, and I will give you guys my final opinion about shopping this way. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy the video, Daph, come here. If you enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified every time she posts a new video. Also, leave a comment down below on what your favorite fruit is. Yeah! Or vegetable. Leave a comment below about what your favorite fruits and vegetables are. Remember tomatoes and, um, remember tomatoes are a fruit and, um, watermelons are berries. What, what month number is July? It's your birthday. I know. What no, What month number? Like 12, 1 to 12. I know. But you definitely... Mine's on the 10th. Okay, so help him figure out what number 7 so is with your little song. January, February, no. month. 
What? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July. Okay, thank you. Yay. Um, what were you saying? Oh yeah, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Leave a comment below with your favorite fruits and vegetables. Also, leave me a comment if you've ever tried one of these food delivery boxes. I've tried so far HelloFresh. Yeah, HelloFresh. I've tried Misfit Nature Market. Box. Nature Box, oh my god! Yes, we should totally review Nature Box. Nature Box is the best. There are differing opinions in the household. You don't like it, it's expensive. Yeah, the snacks are great, but. Mm -hmm. Spicy uh, pretzels. Uh, Okay, yeah guys, subscribe. Uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified when I make new videos. Give it a like and drop us a comment letting us know if you've ever tried one of these services um, or if you're interested to. I'm gonna go through them all. I'm gonna let you guys or know. Or if you have, you can like say if you liked it or not. Yeah, tell us if you like it or not or whatever. And also uh, follow my Instagram, Taylor underscore television, right? Yeah, Instagram, Taylor underscore television. And that's the only other social media rocking these days. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.